finish the regular season, 11 points ahead of Grimsby, second and sixth respectively, but now it's all about who delivers on the day, who handles the pressure of playoff football. We must have a winner this afternoon. And these two aren't the biggest clubs currently playing outside of the Football League. This their biggest game of the season so far. We'll be happy to try and turn Grimsby early on and get Marlin and Palmer into the game and stretching the back line of Grimsby. On the ball, they've got to start well. Move the ball early and have got some good encouraging signs early on. Amos with the throw in. Put it back again off Clifton. McAtee. Taylor. Taylor's turn nicely and McAtee gets it back! Great goal! But the flag's up, it won't count. It's a lovely move that though by Grimsby. He'd just gone a little early, it would appear. McAtee. Well, it's an emphatic finish. A real quality player. Just the fluidity, the way that he plays, the elegance he plays with. The back heel. Just a shade offside. Take nothing away from the finish, though. That was unbelievable. But that's maybe a start that, not, that Wrexham have really need to try and kick into gear. We've seen from the last game, Adam, how important set plays have been in the playoffs so far. It's a former Wrexham man in Waterfall. He's one of those up from the back here. Hollihan is the player towards the edge of the box. Oh, and it's not a bad ball over that. And certainly had Dibble concern the header by Taylor. Just maybe wondering if he couldn't quite get the lift there because Cleworth was just maybe holding on to him a little bit and not looking at the ball. He's got his arms around him, and I think that's really affecting the jump of Taylor. I think that's why he's just having a little look at the referee just to say, listen, I'm being handled there. I couldn't quite get the connection I wanted. Mullin, looking to hold up Waterfall. Oh, he's given it! He's given a penalty! Well, you can see the reaction here of the Grimsby players. That is a huge call from the referee, Adam Hertek. Well, they're clearly delighted with it. I have to say, it'd be very interesting to see that again because there didn't look to be a huge amount in that on first sight. On my first sight, you think that, Adam, I looked at the reaction of Mullin, and this is when you can't afford to switch off. It's a great flick on. If you give penalties for that, Adam, we could have 30 a game. He's gone down far too easily for me. He gets there there, but because he can't really go anywhere with it, he's feeling a slight contact and he's gone down far too easily. It's a harsh one to give. It is the National League's golden boot winner. Pressure, penalty in the playoffs. And he did blast it, and he gave the goalkeeper no chance. It's Mullin for Wrexham, who had the lead inside the first 13 minutes here. The complaints go on from Grimsby. It's a goal against the run of play, but Wrexham won't care. They're in front of the race course. Well, you say he goes for power, Adam, and that is absolutely emphatic from Paul Mullin. You think for a split second that it's not going to go underneath the crossbar. It's the confidence that he's playing with at the moment. I think it's soft, I think it's really, really soft, I think it's harsh. It's first blood to Wrexham. Taylor, can Grimsby hit that quickly here? Clifton. McAtee has had that early goal disallowed. Fox had made the run beyond him. McAtee! Great goal! Oh, that's special! What a way to respond! Delirium among the Grimsby fans. Quality, sheer quality from McAtee. Well, this is a strike of real quality, it really is. I mean, this is what he is all about, the confidence that he started with. And I think there's a bit of justice in this goal, Adam, because I don't think it was a penalty. And for 
Grinsby to come straight back with their first attack. I think shows guts about this team. It shows everything that Paul Hurst wants from his side. But you have to say, when you look at the big games and you look at the big moment and you look at big players to really step up, John McAtee has done that for them and has got them right back into this game. It's been one minute and 23 seconds between the goals. They felt so aggrieved about that penalty, but they used that anger in the right way. Hosanna now, Wrexham, we're in again almost. Great save by Croke, and what a game we've got on here. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And now you're talking about a reaction from Rick Wrexham, and they've got that. It's a good save, it really is. A good height, though, but... It was only about five the last time Wrexham played in the Football League. Here's one of Tozer's long throw-ins, causing problems, causing big problems. He's given a free kick, it won't count. The goal ruled out, it remains 1-1. Well, again, it's another warning sign, isn't it? Fair shout there. I mean, you see French on the goalkeeper. I think that's what the foul's been given for. You just see him on the line there, stops the goalie going out. I think Fox and Mullen have got each other around the neck, but I think it's the foul on the goalkeeper that's white. Another toes a long throw in is coming. This has been action packed at the race course. Awkward one again for the keeper, he's pulled out a brilliant save. What a stop that is from Croker. He clawed it out. Well, I thought that was it. And he's had to really, really stretch for this. You see where he is, he's gone over him. And the arm's behind his head and he tips it over the crossbar. Wrexham piling on the pressure. Grimsby holding out for now. Another ball in towards Davis. Oh, the goalkeeper was there again and then Fox puts it behind for another corner. They're penned in here, Grimsby. I've got to say switch on there, it's Jordan Davis that created that little bit of space at the far post to head that header back across. Almost half an hour gone, another ball in, and this time there's a foul and it's a free kick to Grimsby and they can breathe a bit of a sigh of relief, the Mariners. First is an absolutely huge task for him and his players, said they would come into it as underdogs, even bigger underdogs he thought than at Notts County on Monday. Into a fifth minute of added time we go. Sosa wins it back for the Mariners. Dibble back to his feet and ready to help defend this corner that Amos will take. But a little like the first half, it's Grimsby who've come out of the blocks the faster. Amos to swing it in and Dibble on his line, punched it. And it's come out to Clifton and now Amos will send it into a busy box. Good delivery and they're in front. It's the captain, Waterfall, against his former club. They've turned it all around. Grimsby lead at the race course. A fast start to this second half from the Mariners. Well, finally, the fast start for Grimsby has finally got them a goal that has absolutely stunned this home crowd. And it's a former player as well that's come back. It's not the most convincing punch, I must say that. But then it's just a bit of composure. And that is an absolute brilliant ball in there from Amos to his captain, who yet again has scored another vital goal for his team. Pick up the second balls really well. It's a beautifully flighted ball to the far post from Amos. And the captain just pulls off Toza nicely, heads it down and gives Grimsby a lead now that they will certainly feel they need to be switched on to keep hold of this. At this moment in time, an early goal in the second half can work for you if you can continue the pressure and continue the momentum that you've shown all. It can work against you if you drop deep and you allow pressure to come onto you, but they're not dropping deep at the moment. So, so they're looking to press home their advantage, and it's been saved by Dibble. Another great chance for Grimsby. And Wrexham are looking shaky at the back. Oh, you wonder how important that save's going to be. They need to switch on Wrexham, because at the minute, they're going to be a National League side again if they don't change this around. They're trying to claim handball. Good.
Amos striving into the box, it's a fantastic run. And it was blocked by Toza. Cropper. Souza. Taylor chasing this. Not convincing from Clueworth. Taylor. Nakati with the layoff and struck by Amos, but struck wide. I tell you, Adam, the chances have come here for Grimsby to add to their oh, tally, they haven't they? I mean, Wrexham are everywhere at the moment, Adam. He scored 23 goals more than Grimsby this season, Wrexham. There's so much threat in that side. There's the showing here, and they've equalised. Toza. There's that race course roar again. They're on terms. And how this game twos and throws. Well, another set play in the playoffs has led to another goal. And this time it's Ben Toza at the far post. It's not really being marked. And I think Cropper needs to get a lot closer to him because he just gets that little run and jump. You see the yard he's got on him. And then he's got the advantage to get his arm on his shoulder and head over him. Doesn't pin him anywhere near enough. It's a quality ball in, and you have to say... It's going to take the throw in. We've had some cracking games in the playoffs, Adam, over the years in the National League. I think this has got the potential to be an all-time classic. Yeah. Brilliant so far. Toza to put one in the box. It's flipped on by Pan! at the race course it's a Wrexham recovery this is amazing it's the golden boot winner who's bundled it over the line what can happen in an instant and again it's Palmer that flicks it on for his strike partner and he just tussles away there from Fox you know what's coming, but it's so hard to defend against sometimes. And that is why you cannot switch off for a split second. It's a great flick on. I mean, they're saying maybe the arms used it to hit it. And not his head. Well, we've asked the view, Adam, of Luke Garrard down on the touchline and Aaron McLean as well, about that goal that's got Wrexham in front. They concur with you that they feel that it was a handball this by Mullin. Well, is it, it Mullin's Maradona moment, this? I mean, you look at the arm there. It, it is. A, it is, Adam. It's a handball. It is. Forward to his left. And Jones to his left, I should say, was Mullin to his right. And Palmer will chase this, and Croken got there before him. McAtee, Taylor's on the edge of the box, McAtee looked to find him! They've done it again! They just never know when they're beaten! McAtee provider this time! It's Taylor with a massive goal for Paul Hurst! Well, not often I'm lost for words, Adam. But look at the build-up to this goal. The layoff there from Taylor. And for me, being the player of the match so far, and John McAtee just gets a little bit out of his feet there. I mean, it's such a quality ball in. It really is. And he just gets the run on French. And that's all you need, just that little half a yard. Takes it absolutely brilliantly. And yet again, Grinsby have shown great character and guts to turn this around. Dear Sarue coming on. Now he's got four goals in his last two games. The man who came off the bench to get that late winner in the 119th minute at Meadow Lane. It's Taylor who's got the equaliser who's coming off. Waterfall find a yard in the box to get away from Toza. 
In it goes from McAtee. He's done it again! I can't believe this! Dear Sarouwe, the hero on Monday! He's done it again on Saturday! This is almost beyond remarkable! Super sub strikes again! Well, it's Clueworth that's not even watching the ball when it comes in. He's got his back to him, look, he's not even looking, he's just trying to mark the Isarue. And you can't afford to do that, you can't mark a player like that, I'm sorry. And it's a brilliantly flighted ball in there. And Dia Sarue, yes again, has come on and has made a massive difference. Eight times this season they've rescued games from losing positions. Can they do it again, Wrexham, in their biggest game of the season? 4-3 down at the race course. They've equalised again! It's one of the local lads, Davis. 4-4. Does anybody want to win this game? Leeds given away over and over again. It's an all-time classic in the playoffs. Honestly, Adam. When a team's going to learn to defend set plays properly. He starts on the post and he just runs away and he just gives himself that half a yard and toes up. Just gets the smallest of blocks on Hollihan. That gives Davis the chance to drive and direct that header into the goal. They certainly had their money's worth, haven't they? This season, the highest average gate for Wrexham this season. Brilliant support. It's Grimsby so well back to 1,200. Easily sold out so quickly, their allocation. They could have sold many, many more. Yes. Lovely player, Davis. Up to try and turn in the box. Appeals for a penalty. The challenge wow. was by Pearson. Wow, said Davis, that he didn't get that decision. It was clumsy, I must say that. Davis looking for Mullin. Palmer. Seconds remaining at the end of this first period of extra time as Palmer went down in the box and the Grimsby players not happy about that yellow card. That wasn't it, dear Saruwe. So, so they've got a man over. Abrahams, what a chance! Oh, it's wide. Glorious opportunity. They worked that so well. Out here. Oh, that's quite something. Cropper does get great distance on it as expected. They've done it. Waterfall! Remarkable! They've nicked it, it would seem, right at the end. Lightning strikes twice. As it did at Meadow Lane on Monday night. Grimsby looked to have won it in extra time. It's heaven for Hurst at the race course. Well, what an incredible end to an incredible game of football. You talk about desire to go and attack it, and Luke Waterfall is the example of that. He just loses toes up and reads the flight of the ball perfectly. And into the box. Davis did get it in there. Still no final whistle. Heading towards a fourth minute of that.